What's okay. next? All right, this is going to be scary. This is going to be our first example of unlock shock. Oh, okay. okay. Unlock shock. I'm ready. So I'm going to open up this one called Graphical Objects. And boom. Shock. Yeah, that's shocking. So uh, I only put this together because this is every object in Max that I could think of that is that has like a graphical UI. Most objects do not have graphical UIs. They just show up as plain old objects like plus is an object. It doesn't have a graphical UI. It's just a, in a generic object box. It's got inlets on the top and outlets on the bottom, but there are other objects. We've already gone through several. Um, button is one of them, toggles another one. These are instantiated as graphical UI elements. They are just max objects like every other max object, but they're instantiated as graphical UI objects. So I made this demo, not because I want to go through every single one of these, it's just this is the entire set as far as I know of objects that are instantiated as graphical UI uh, objects. So we already went, we did button. I'll just go through a couple of them. So like there's a button, there's another one called LED toggle. Uh, there's like a slider. There's this weird graphical slider thing. Um, there's a 2D slider. Uh, there's a little piano deal that generates, um, you know, MIDI numbers. And there's a version of the same piano thing that that operates like a like a score. Um, there's a slider that's got a beginning and an end point, like a range slider. And um, dials. Dials are pretty useful. Um, pick slider. It lets you attach a picture to the dial, so you can make it really look like whatever you want. And there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, ooh, my favorite, I think, if I had to pick one, uh, would be multi-slider. <laughs> I love multi-slider. So it lets you have multiple sliders inside of a single object, and it's really cool. Now, um, you've demonstrated it here in some of these that show that these graphical objects all have outputs. Uh -huh. um, but that's something that's really important to note, is that most of the ones, even the ones that are shown here, have some sort of output. Mm -hmm. For example, the toggle is going to output a 1 or a 0. So just knowing that you can hook up a number box or a message box to these graphical objects to understand a little bit more about what types of outputs they have. Yeah, most of these are going to output numbers. Mm -hmm. um, which ones are not? Um, well, it's panel. whether it's an indiv a single number or, for example, with a color picker, it's going to be a set of three numbers. Uh -huh. Sure, so yeah. So it's, it's just a matter of what kind of... Yeah, there's a really interesting mm -hmm. one here, this drag and drop thing. You drop a file on it from your operating system, and it and it outputs the entire path, like the OS path to that file, which is pretty right. cool. There are graphical objects that only take in or output like um, uh, audio, so they're all down here in the mm -hmm. corner, sort of. So, like we talked about, Easy DAC and Easy ADC. But if you type it, like if you connect your microphone to the level meter, the level meter is going to you know, sort of graphically emulate like a like a what do you call it? A VU or like a peak meter, mm -hmm. a mixing board or something like that. Right. Um, so yeah, those are, yeah, this is, so I just wanted to show, I think it's good at this point to, before everybody starts diving into building things that there are these graphical objects, but they're just max objects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we'll talk about all these at some point, but not right now.